It isn't a toy shop. It isn't a museum. You can't buy trainers or coffee mugs here. in the mechanical cabaret don't get paid. They don't eat, they don't drink or have their photos in the news of the world. Who would? They live in Covent Garden and these mechanical superstars have been made by a whole bunch of British artists. They're a very hospitable crowd. They've even got a mechanical barman. Thanks. Cheers. How did you start making models like these? Well, I started in about 1980, when I got a whole load of scrap rubbishy wood and I needed to make some Christmas presents for children. So I made little crocodiles that you pushed along and snapped like that. Very simple, very effective. And I made too many, so I sold some. And then later on, I developed into more complex things, which are also made out of scrap wood. They have no... No expensive parts in them. They're not expensive at all to make? No, I wouldn't say that costs more than about 60 or 80 pence to make in terms of materials. Lots, oh. lots in terms of time. It take, probably took a fortnight to make. Where do you get your ideas from? Well, I have a drawing book which I use all the time and I put, um, I put down any ideas that I get pretty well. And some of them I can develop into machines. Some of the machines I can then develop into more ideas. And if you keep the flow going like that, you really have a crop of ideas which you can just keep taking from. Mm -hmm. Could kids make models like these, do you reckon? Yes, they can. The point is that it's easy to use simple and cheap materials, like this is something I've been making out of cardboard, which is, which is going to be a book of things you can cut out and make, which are mechanical, quite, quite complicated mechanical things, and they... They do work, and the materials there, well, that's, that's nothing, is it? it doesn't cost anything to make. The main thing is you've got to have an idea to work from. It's not the physical fact of the thing's nothing after the ideas come along. Okay, thanks, Paul. Cheers, mate. <laughs>